Hi everyone, welcome to our full moon sacred town journey in Capricorn. I'm just, uh, I'm like, let me just see. Like, for once, I'm early. By like a minute. Two minutes, wait, what time is it? I'm real early, <laughs> I'm like five minutes early. That's real early for an Aries. Let me tell you. So let's just give uh, everyone just a, a couple of minutes. Anyone who wants to come live and enjoy this, because I know live is so um, powerful uh, for a sound journey, as well as when knowing, guess what, <laughs> that this is recorded outside of time and space, outside of linear time. So it's in a sacred container that will open up for you when you watch. So if you're not able to watch now, come when you're able to watch or rewatch and enjoy the sound journey, enjoy the, the energy of the full moon, whether you're watching it during the full moon or not, you're gonna get the essence and the energy of what comes through for, for this beautiful sacred sound journey. I'm just gonna relight this. Usually this, this one stays lit. It is, whew, Palo Santo for everyone. It's Palo Santo and it has been uh, soaked or dipped or, What's the, whatever the right word is in Opopanax, sage goddess. Um, yeah, it smells so good. So this is a beautiful one for everyone to get a little clearing and healing. Whenever you feel like, oh, I got a little sniffle coming on, have your white sage, have your Palo Santo, smell, breathe it in, really fill your lungs with it. And then of course have your eucalyptus and all that fun stuff on the side to help you open the lungs if it becomes uh, even more. But you know, this, just do this. <laughs> breathe in the antibacterial, antimicrobial energies of Palo Santo and white sage. Uh, both of them are powerful. So here's one virtual smudge. We're doing two today, so. <sighs> the energy of Capricorn, the grounding, the earthing <laughs> that can happen. Okay, so this guy is gonna go out soon. Um, so when if you're doing this and you would like to call in, right? If you're, you can also call in the elements and work with the essence and the energies of what I have here. And you can also bring in your own. Um, what's the next? Well, before I do the next one, I needed to ring my Bali bell for you guys. such good energy whoops so that behind me I have a few of the stones that I picked out um, quartz flame is behind me and then my other obsession uh, <laughs> quartz generator uh, here um, and I have some stones that I received from the Kachina and Noel vortex energy in Sedona yes yes and then let's light some fire we have fire behind me too that you can tune into I have a mother Mary candle with us today isn't that awesome? I'm bringing in some Mother Mary energy because oh, it's just everywhere. It's coming in massively. Um, and I'll tell you about some other good stones for Capricorn, but I'll tell you the other stone that I was called to bring uh, for our journey tonight is this beautiful 13 point chumpy stone. So I don't know if you watched my live uh, on Chumpy Stones. I have it saved on my YouTube channel as well. So you can always go there. Just Maggie's Bliss Chumpy Stones, something like that. This is awesome and sacred. 13 is the divine feminine number. It's one of my favorite numbers other than seven, right? So seven and 13s are, you know, equal. And 13s is the 13 full moons in a year, the 13 menstrual cycles for women who often, 90% of the time, they're aligning to all of those phases of the moon, right? And those full moons and 13 is the divine feminine energy. And this is your chumpy stone <laughs> with 13 points and all the sacred symbols that come along with it. They activate you, whether you know it or not, when you see a symbol and you're like, whoa. Oh, yay, hi Jennifer, I'm glad you made it. <laughs> so I just burned some Palo Santo um, that is blended with um, Opopanax, which is one of my absolute favorite scents, but um, it depends on where you get it sourced because they don't all smell the same 
They really don't. So, the next thing I'm gonna burn, because I told you we're burning two herbs, is whoo, Mount Shasta Sage. Mount Shasta Sage, yes. So, whoo, give you a little of that virtual smudge going on, cleanse and clear. We have a, a major theme going on tonight. <sighs> so, I love this, uh, I love this. Okay, how about I just smudge myself first? I get so excited. Um, but we have <sighs> Capricorn energy in the full moon. I'm gonna place my smudging fan over there. This one's gonna take a second to put out because I kind of lit it real good. Um, <laughs> Mount Shasta Sage, there is just ooh, something else right there. Get that really amazing high vibrational energy that you get from Mount Shasta and get one of those bundles, right? Um, so I'm so happy I have, I have it's, this is a big one. It's gonna last a while. Um, depends on how much I use it, right? Um, so Capricorn, full moon, Cancer sun. Um, with our Capricorn full moon, we're feeling the essence and the energies of Capricorn, of wanting to shoot for the moon, to obtain those goals. The shadow of Capricorn is they can get too rigid and too focused on their goals and they just forget everything else and everyone else and they, they can get pretty upset if things are not as, as they feel they should be, you know, controlling issue, you know, right? Um, so those essence and energies could be fighting with you right now of Capricorn with the full moon and especially if Capricorn falls as your sun, your moon, or your rising real quick. Sun, moon, rising. Sun is your, ah, just smelling that sage. Sun is your life path. Moon is your, uh, not your darling. Moon, that's your north node. Um, sun is life path. Moon is your shadow. It's your subconscious. It's your deepest desires and um, what you would do when no one else is watching or how you are. Um, and the rising sun, it's your mask that you show to the world and also how you rise to the occasion. So you have your sun, moon, rising. Most important, but there are other important aspects in your chart too that we just wait no, no time to go into all that. But those are the most important ones, your trifecta of things that you should look at if you know nothing else about your chart. And then know that you're not locked in to your sign. It's just getting to know yourself more. It's another archetype that you can look at, knowing that we can transcend even that if we so choose and work through those issues and, and rise and raise our frequency. The other thing, the other thing that's going on, as I mentioned, Cancer Sun. So Cancer is a water sign, Capricorn's an earth sign. Cancer, the water sign, is the nurturer, mother energy, um, and the moon. The moon is cancer. Cancer rules the moon. The moon rules cancer. They're aligned together. <laughs> I'm starting to forget my words. But they're aligned together, and that means that it's even like, even more of like energy that's like, very contrasting, very much pol polarity with the Capricorn and the Cancer. The Cancer not only is nurturing and the caretaker and the giver, uh, but they, they tend to cry a lot. So you may, it's the crying season, <laughs> maybe. Uh, we, it's also the element of fire summer season, so that's gonna fight with us as well with the regard to the crying. But Cancers are also known as the crab because they can get awful cranky and they are very much so hard to, they, they find it hard to forgive people and they stay in that, you know, they hold grudges. So it's whew, transcend that stuff, right? We're gonna step out of the ego and step into the energy of higher vibrational love energy, sacred mind, sacred heart, union. We're, we're all about raising our vibes, right? So that we can be in that more peaceful state of being and freedom and abundance, love, everything, peace and joy. Everything is what we're meant to be, where we're meant to be, right? So we have the Cancer and the Capricorn. That polarity is gonna kind of fight and, but the Cancer sun is, since it's ruled by the moon, it's gonna be that divine feminine energy that's really gonna say, Capricorn, energy, soften yourself 
let's not be so rigid. So that rigidity may not be felt as strongly, but just keep it in mind in case that's what's happening. <laughs> Someone was just, one of my friends, Christine was just saying that she uh, is tired, so tired and so thirsty. And I was like, you need to sleep more, you need to drink more. We're all ascending, the earth is ascending. And as we ascend, our bodies are transitioning, our DNA is restructuring itself, just like the, our singing bowls that I have here today are gonna assist us with. And as our DNA is restructuring, our body needs rest. More rest than you would think it needs, right? Quote, unquote, because some people are like, I always only had four hours and I was good. Four or five hours, I'm good. But now I'm like needing more sleep. Yes, do you, do you need more sleep? And I'm like an eight, nine hour kind of gal. I like to go to bed early, wake up early. But I'm, I have a nap this week that was like two and a half hours. I was like, what? What's happening? So we're just, it's our body saying you need to ha have that, those moments of rest and then you'll have more energy after. But you have to allow those moments. And if you're gifted with the ability to have that extra rest, take advantage so that you can really um, allow your body to transition into these new places and faces and vibrations and frequencies that we're rising up in. So... Um, anything else I want to mention about that? So I have today, I wanted to bring my gong. So took it out of hubby's drum room. <laughs> uh, so I have my gong with me today. We may, I might be sprinkling that in where it's called to be. Um, and then I have my, um, quartz singing bowls. Those are the ones that I'm drawn to use for sound along with my gong. And, and you heard the Bali bell. If you were late, we played the Bali bell. Just so good, I had to ring it again. Uh, ringing in this beautiful full moon. So the quartz singing bowls, if you've never experienced them, they are awesome. And <laughs> um, the quartz singing bowls are tuned to each of the chakras, different frequencies and vibrations. And I have this white one is bigger than them all. <laughs> it is um, uh, tuned to the soul star chakra. So. Uh, they will assist in harmonizing and restructuring and aligning your DNA at that cellular level. It's that restructuring that happens and then bringing you back to your harmonious state, enabling you to be your highest vibrational self, opening you up your heart, all the chakras in balance so that you can connect more to your higher self, your higher guidance spirit and the, the angels and align yourself to your path because there are different things going on in different chakras that we need to be aware of. Huge right now is the throat chakra. Like lots of people are having that throat chakra thing because this society and mass consciousness wants to dumb you down and wants you to shut the F up. And we want to say no. <laughs> um, instead of dumbing us down, how about we work together? Because there's going to be so much more peace and joy when we do it that way. So, um, and it's all about your truth, the throat chakra. So speaking your truth, expressing your divine expression, doing your passion, aligning yourself to what resonates as feeling good and joyful and loving for you, your bliss. Remember, I always say this, your bliss, you just follow your bliss, it's your spiritual compass. It's so true. Um, we need to connect more and we need like everyone listening now and in the future meditate every day meditate 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 it doesn't have to be a quiet meditation walking meditation musical meditation i love guided meditations it leads me in and then if i feel like i'm in then i can like turn it off if i want to or just focus but um it can it can be silent if that's what you're drawn to do out in nature just sitting if you're able to actually be blessed to be out in nature and sit and just breathe in the trees, breathe in the flowers that are growing for springtime in the northern hemisphere, right? And then like get your feet and hands in the ground, like really touch the ground, touch the trees. I think I said, yeah, I was talking about that like yesterday, was that today? Yesterday or today on one of my mini lives about hugging a tree and like in kundalini yoga we do this and we open our pores more we're open to that healing we can feel our nerve endings working that our hands are getting warm because of the friction but also warm because the energy is willing and ready to be open and doing that and then place your hands on the tree 
on the grass, on the ground, on the earth, whatever it is, and like feel the energy and essence of that breathing in and out and you breathing in and out. And there's that symbiotic relationship. As nature exhales, we breathe in. When we exhale, nature breathes in. So we need each other. Gaia is ascending, we're ascending, we're a part of Gaia. So let's light up our crystalline bodies and get to it. So for tonight's full moon, I was called and it came up like three different times for me. And sometimes I only need two synchronicities for it to be like, okay, you don't give, need to give me a third one now. I know <laughs> you sent it to me twice. But what we're doing is releasing and uh, aligning our goals to our goals. So what uh, you can do is either just ponder what that is, what you need to release, or write it down and burn it after. Fire is ultimate purification and transformation, right? And release that stuff. <laughs> um, so write it down or just ponder it and envision that your dragon guy, your Violet Femme Saint Germain, your whatever, as fire, like, um, purifying it. So I'm gonna call to that during our journey tonight. Um, but I just wanted to like warn you that, not warn you, but you know, forewarn, but <laughs> let you guys know that this is happening so that you can strongly align to what that thing is. So really what I'm hoping and my intention, and you can decide how it resonates with you. What is your goal? Because Capricorn is all about shooting for that, shooting for the moon, right? Shooting for that goal. They're the goat on the mountain. They're going to reach it. They're going to go and they're going to get the thing. So if you're Capricorn, your mission in life is to reach that goal and to make it manifest. So here we are at our Capricorn, Capricorn full moon. What is your ultimate goal? What is one big thing that you want to focus on right now? One big thing. So choose what that thing is and then decide how it feels. So your big thing, it could be, I need to make money and then I'll be happy. <laughs> but ultimately we know money is not the only thing that makes us happy. It's that what it brings. Money is energy and we can enjoy it. And everyone deserves it and there's more than enough to go around for everyone. And we're meant to live life in harmony and balance with everyone. So let's wish abundance and prosperity on for everyone. If goal, if the end goal is money, but truly what your end goal is, what that money will bring. So it's like, okay, abundance and security for uh, your metaphysical business, your transition to a new home, your needing a new car. Like what is like the ultimate goal? Um, <laughs> those are like some materialistic, right? But you could envision anything. So like my ultimate goal is to make sure that everyone knows that are meant to connect to me and what I have to offer and can be assisted, right? Find me, come and enjoy. And like my favorite thing is to see that light go on inside or that emotional release that allows the light to go on, that whatever's happening, that thing to be able to be the channel for the light coming in for that for you for everyone who's watching for all all of humanity whoever's meant to learn from me because there's a frequency and a vibration for everyone there's a lot of energy healers and and psychics and channelers and light code activators out there and then you have to decide which one at which moment in your life is resonating with you now to do the thing um and that means whatever you're meant to do like job wise, maybe it's not that because I'm just thinking because that's, you know, what I love. <laughs> what is your thing? And there could be other lots of other people doing the thing, but they can't do it the way you do it. You have a unique signature that no one else on in the universe has. So you have to bring that forward. What is your thing? So um, if your ultimate goal is that career job, cool. If it's to find a love, a, a love loving partner, remember to find the ultimate twin flame or soulmate partner, you must first love yourself completely or else 
when you find that ultimate partner, it's going to be someone who is going to shine mirrored lessons. They're going to reflect to you back to you what you need to learn and do in order to get to that ultimate partner. Um, but they may or may not be the partner. So like everyone has their process and what they're meant to do in their soul blueprint, but know that in order to connect with the ultimate love and love energy, you must love yourself and choose yourself first. You must follow your path and open that throat chakra. You must be at peace with yourself for the most part. We're human and we're gonna go through lessons for our whole life. So for the most part, come to a place of awareness within you so that when you meet the ultimate partner, because know that they're also the ultimate reflection and mirror for you, that you'll be able to withstand some of the things that will come up after that honeymoon phase is over. <laughs> but, um, you know, when you're, uh, what, is, what is your ultimate goal? Like my ultimate goal a a after awakening everyone, right? It, the ultimate, ultimate goal is to be in peace and joy, love and abundance for all, like just living in harmony in that way, transcending that 3D reality to the 5D reality, the new earth vision of magic. So let's make that happen. So what are your goals? You can even put it right here in the chat if you're live with me um, as a way of solidifying what those goals are. But now, then just say what, then list what's your ultimate, what do you think is your ultimate obstacle to reaching your goal? Let me say that again. <laughs> what do you think is the obstacle to your ultimate goal right now? Know that the ultimate obstacle is always ourselves. Self-reflection. <laughs> We sabotage ourselves and we, uh, uh, it's, it's just aligning to the truth of that and figuring out and getting to the root of those issues so that we can transcend the issues one step at a time, doing shadow work and then allowing ourselves to say, okay, okay, that was me. That was totally me. And that's why, because I really wished for this thing, but I wished it in a way that it wasn't actually what I meant to wish for that and it came in that kind of intensity but it, it and then you have this ultimate goal so like like if it's a love love relationship some people are meant to go through several different relationships that show you a, a pattern you need to release like liars um chronic liars right alcoholics what are the patterns uh, of a partner um and they're often showing you what you need to release, right? They're the mirror. They're the, what you've created to learn your lesson. So what are they showing you? You need to step back and say, okay, I know that this person is a chronic liar. Why am I, like what actually ask the smart questions, right? What is this showing to me now? And then the ultimate is to say no to that pattern, right? To stop stop it in its tracks and then the universe will often send you a pattern one more time when you think you were done they'll send it again and we're like are you sure and then you have to say no no i am so sure i'm so good with that pattern i'm good i'm gonna go over here to this higher vibrational thing so hopefully that makes sense for you guys um uh, kind of getting into the kind of rambling so i just wanted to get you set up for what we're going into any stones if you want to align to Cap capricorn energy um, one good one is, um, ooh, hematite, uh, a grounding stone. Hematite is insanely grounding for me. So I, it's too much for me, but I love black tourmaline. I, um, also am obsessed with my, um, shungite. Actually have, I lost my shungite necklace. So I have another one on the way cause it's important. Those EMFs and anyone that are with toxic energy, get your shungite. It's a filter for water. And guess what you're made up of mostly? Water. So let's make sure that we're filtering out the stuff we don't want around us and bringing in the good stuff. Put it in your water too. So you, they have small raw pieces that you can get to make sure like, um, it's Shungite is, uh, it's, it's, they're said to be a basin, I believe in Russia. It's the K. Um, uh, that is lined with Shungite, said to be the most pure water on the planet. 
Um, and then in ancient times, the Romans lined their pipes with shungite to filter the water. So get your shungite. I also, and with my shungite, I have my selenite with me. I have selenite all around me actually in quartz. But for the Capricorns, my son's a Capricorn. He loves his, his hematite. His hematite? Did I say that right? Yeah. Okay. Because I have Herkimer Diamond in my head. It's like screaming at me right now. So first, hematite. <laughs> the magnet stones. If it's not magnetized, it's not, it's not hematite. So <laughs> just make sure. Um, it's that like silvery black stone. And then Herkimer Diamond. Because where the Capricorn wants and needs to be grounded and make manifest their goals, they also need to be reminded to connect to above it. We're not just living in our lower chakras. We're not just living in our upper chakras, no matter how much I want to. Um, but we need to have the grounding and we need to be connected. So uh, the goal for me is to always be grounded and grounded into the new earth crystalline grid. Um, that's my intention and that's another way of aligning to the higher vibrations here on earth. So, uh, another good stone, mahogany obsidian is great for Capricorns, another grounding stone, root chakra stone, because they can, the Capricorns can, can get in fear mode and be like, it's not happening, it's not gonna happen, and why isn't it happening, and I need this, and I'm so scared of whatever. They need to know they're feeling safe. They are fully supported by the universe. You are fully supported by the universe, and you need to believe it and align with it, and then that frequency and vibration comes to you. You just need to be it. Remember your I am. <laughs> I am makes manifest. I am abundant. I am reaching my goals. I have reached, reached my goals. I am financially prosperous. I am Christ consciousness. So real quick, Christ means enlightened one. Christ consciousness, higher vibrations. We're going to connect to that. So What's your ultimate goal? What's that obstacle standing in your way? Think about that, ponder that as we go in and we're gonna cleanse and purify our energies and we're gonna align to that full moon energy that's coming in. It's softened with the Cancer Sun, right? And uh, make sure that if, if you're laying down and you know you're gonna fall asleep but you want to, that's okay. You can sleep and still get the energy of this. If you don't want to fall asleep, just stay seated, but just make sure your chakras in a nice straight line of energy, palms facing up for, uh, for you're open to receive. You're telling the universe you're open to receive. So like if I want to hold my crystals and, and still like be like, I'm open to receive. So depending, maybe this big one is a little harder, but if you're like sitting down, you can have your hands on your thighs or next to you, but have your stones in your hands if you'd like. If you're laying down at a slightly reclining, oh yeah, I had to show you the heart from Noel. <laughs> it, it, you had to, um, oh shoot. If you're laying down and you want something on your third eye, I have a really small azurite stone that I put on my clients because it's very light and it won't usually roll off when, and they'll know it's there. But like that azurite is for your third eye to open you up, open your psychic abilities, your intuition, your third eye to hear, to see, to feel, to know more than you know in the 3D reality, right? To know the truth at the core of the universe is always my intention. So you can place them anywhere, but make sure they're on your skin. And if you're alone, cool. <laughs> if you're not alone, wait till later. But make sure they touch your skin if you can, if at all possible. You'll still get the energy if they're not touching your skin. Uh, it's just, uh, in my uh, experience and what others have said, it's just more powerful when it touches your skin. So I have some crystals that I'm always wearing and they touch my skin. Okay, we're gonna get started for real now. <laughs> you guys ready for some gong action? the shoulders. On your inhale, just smile. Exhale, release it, let it go. Giving it your outer smile helps your inner smile. And for me, that opens my third eye. It opens my heart. Inhale, breathe fully and deeply in. Fill the belly, the diaphragm, the lungs. 
exhale, release, let go, allow the breath to descend back down to the bottom of your belly. Inhale, full and deep. Exhale, release. Inhale. Exhale. Take a moment now and as you're inhaling, breathe in pink, unconditionally loving energy. Have it fill you up from head to toe, your aura flowing all around you.
around your head, throat, shoulders, down your arms, your heart, power center, sacral and root, at your tailbone, around your legs, knees, thighs, all the way down through your knees and legs, ankles, through your feet. transmutation, courageous energy like the rising phoenix, Archangel Michael resides here of the electric blue ray, connect to the blue flame energy, feeling both angels that you have called in so far. to 
supported by the universe. It rises up, filling and infusing your sacral center, just below your belly button, orange in color, cleansing and purifying, harmonizing your chakra for divine feminine, masculine balance, sensuality, flow, creativity, as you are the creator.
can sit under the nighttime sky by a beautiful fire. You sit with your guide. Now it is time. Your guide asks you what you have come into this journey with. ultimate goal do you have? What is your intention? Share this now with your guide. And as you share, feel it. Feel how it would be to have it. Experience it. We will come back to this feeling as your guide now wants you to share who have come to assist, ponder your ultimate goal, your intention. What does it feel like now that the obstacle is no longer there? When you have reached this goal, how does it feel? What are you doing? How are you succeeding?
slow and it reacts. It flows with you and with the power of Goddess Brigham. She begins to reweave your path, getting you to your ultimate goal in a faster, smoother, clearer way. You may see color within this beautiful, beautiful, luminous energy field as your luminous energy field interacts with Earth's and the universe's luminous energy field. This field of energy is vibrant and awake and alive and connected to everyone. And Goddess Frigga is weaving, working her magic, seeing the light, the diamond light codes and frequencies going through this web of energy. Aligning everyone's path more clearly to their highest soul's mission and intentions and affirmations for the highest and best good of all always. By the power of the full moon, your guides, Goddess Frigga, your higher self. through 
peaceful state for a moment as we thank the great guardians, angels, archangels, gatekeepers, elementals. We thank Archangel Shanmuel at the heart center. We release you. We thank Archangel Metatron above. We release you. We thank Archangel Sandalphon below. We release you. We thank Archangel Uriel. turning your hands down to Gaia, sending all that no longer serves you and all that has been released down to Mother Earth for transmutation into pure light. When you're ready, opening your eyes, coming back more fully into your body, into this present moment. Wiggling fingers and toes. And if you're like me, stretching your legs out because they fell asleep. <laughs> so, <laughs> I hope that was good for you guys. Whether you're watching now or sometime in the future, you know that this is outside of time and space, so it's happening and it's working for you. Um, let me know what uh, you felt from this, what your experience was. Hopefully you enjoyed this. Um, and uh, we'll be coming back live next week as always. Uh, and I am always doing a lot of magic within my Patreon group. So if you want more of this and more, even more deeper activations, um, go there and sign up, register today. It's uh, patreon.com slash Maggie's Bliss. Um, that's where you're gonna find my uh, everything. <laughs> There's a lot that you're gonna get um, depending on which tier you choose. There's only two, I don't wanna confuse people, so feel free to check that out there. Um, but these Full Moon Sacred Sound Journeys, always free. Uh, hopefully I'll be able to see you in person for sessions or maybe you're gonna come for some vortex energy. I am doing a Sedona retreat in October, guys. So let's get the magic going. It's October 15th to 18th. I will ha officially have the information to you by July 10th about pricing and all of that stuff. But just know it's me. We're uh, actually connecting with a couple of people, right? So me, White Eagle, Al Diaz, and um, some extra guests that may show up too where our goal is to be on the vortex energy wherever that is in any moment oh anytime Jennifer thank you this helps so much oh oh my god I have to get my glasses I feel more connected and stronger yay Sedona right anytime Kathy many blessings um and so uh, I know like one of White Eagle's vision I love because this is what he does too is going out to Cathedral Rock just before the sun is setting so that by the time we start the actual um, journey or work that we're gonna do, we're into the stars. That's awesome, I can't wait. So October is still like, you know, warm but not too warm, so it'll be perfect, uh, 15th to 18th. So plan that if you're already like wanting to do it, feel free to, you know, right? You're gonna check out the Airbnbs or the hotels and then the flights, see if the cost works for you. But uh, then like I will have all the information for you because it's like powerful, magical people coming together in Sedona on the vortex, any vortex. So we're gonna try for Cathedral Rock. We may go to the Stupa. It's gonna be two and a half to three days. So yes, so good. Um, but anyway, so <laughs> hopefully you guys can join me in Sedona in October or whenever. Um, and then any sessions here in my magical space. And then yes, we will be here next month again for the awesome full moon sacred sound journey. Next month I have to do it uh, in July. I have to do it a couple days early, um, but you'll be able to like replay it on the full moon uh, because I have a retreat that I'm attending. So. Uh, in Sedona. So, <laughs> of course, 
Um, let's wish Sedona and all the surrounding towns of Sedona water, rain. Let's bring it in. I meant to actually mention in our journey because it's very powerful when we're up there, but please wish water and just send, send water their way. Uh, a lot of fires are have broken out from the lightning, uh, the heat lightning that happens. So, and if, if we end up getting, you know, the whole monsoon season, then perhaps that will help, but hopefully the rain will come a little sooner. That will be enough precipitation to assist and get this, you know, calmed down, right? Uh, so anyway, so guys, have an amazing rest of your full moon night. Uh, awesome energy. Any questions or any comments or if you want to join me for more magic, let me know. I have a lot going on. You can go to my newly created website, maggiesbliss.com. It's all new. Same, same website to go to, but different design you'll see. Um, so have an amazing rest of your night. Blessings.